Zambia needs Zambian masters for sustainable and real development. The challenge that we have is most of us are comfortable as servants. It is interesting that civil servants acknowledge and accept that they are servants. In fact, they call themselves civil servants. Now, let me remind you in the private sector that you are not any different. You are also servants. And let me call you private servants. Now, the challenge that we have as a country is we have very few masters. The masters that we have as a country are foreign masters who don't care so much about our country. They just care about the profits. And in fact, they externalize these profits. If you look at the big banks around, are run by foreigners. The big contracts that are flying around are run by foreigners. Mining, uh, the manufacturing sector, the big farms, all these are run by foreigners. Now my call on you, my dear friends, is we need Zambians to engage in entrepreneurship. That is the only way we are going to develop our country. The challenge that we have at the moment is that the big brains that Zambia has are comfortable being servants. And it is because of this that if you look at the top 100 richest Africans, we have no Zambian there. And it is highly probable that in the top 500 richest Africans would still not have a Zambian. In fact, the people that we celebrate to be rich in Zambia, relative to other rich Africans, are very poor. Why? Because most Zambians are comfortable as servants. So my call on you, dear friend, is that let us engage in entrepreneurship. Let us realize that entrepreneurship spurs innovation. Entrepreneurship creates employment and entrepreneurship brings and gives real development. This is the message from the Radical Entrepreneur and the future is bright.